Olioso. Thank you. Okay, good evening, everybody. I think we've all I've had a strenuous day. I've been playing bowls all day in my, my favorite town of Cascot, the city of Cascot. So that was a good reunion with all the people down there. It was lovely. So I've just got home and I'm here. I got home at just at six o'clock. So what we what where's the lady that actually requested this thing? Auntie's not here. I wonder where Auntie is. Anyway, That's true. it's been asked. <laughs> it's been asked how to. Oh, I better record. I am recording. Oh, now I'm recording too. <laughs> what do I do now? Do I stop recording? No, I'm the host. Carry on. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've been asked to please just explain how do we process the Zoom once the recording is finished and then how do we put it out on YouTube? So what I've decided to do, I was going to do a PowerPoint and I thought no. I did all the frames and then I thought no, this one, this, it'll be better to do a live one if I can. I learned that the other day and it was worth. So guys, play with technology. It's awesome. We've got to learn to do these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to share screen and I'm going to try and show you what somebody else taught me. So if I do it wrong, somebody else better come in and correct me. So I always look very clever, and then but I have got a teacher, so it's fine. Let me share my screen. Okay, so what we do once we have finished the Zoom, it gets processed automatically, and then we go onto the YouTube channel, and we go up to this thing here that says create, and if I can just move this little box away. Right. We go up to this little box here that says create, it looks like a video camera, and we push on there, and it says upload a video. And we push on there. And then I wonder if it works. Because now I don't have a, a Zoom ready waiting for us. I wonder if it will take, take me to something. Wait, where do I go now, Sean? Yeah, you're doing it slightly differently the way that I'd normally do it. Okay, can I stop my there, there? Okay, okay, yeah, we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me just push out here. Okay, so it says select a file. So we're going to push on select a file. I'll do it the long way around. And then there it says zoom. I'll go on to that little arrow up there. And I found the latest Zoom that we did the day of the Zoom, which is this one here. So this one's already recorded, I'm assuming. But let's just go on to this one. We highlight it. We click on it. We go open. We go video. We go open. And then it starts. Can you see my finger pointing? <laughs> Start doing a thing. So then we go here to next. And it's very important that you put, yes, it's made for kids. And next, it's actually quite a simple thing once you know how to do it. And next again. And next again. And this is also very important, private, unlisted, or public. And we must go to public. And then publish. And then it does its own thing. It's now processing. 
And sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it takes an hour, sometimes it's not so long. And this I saw was the other day a new thing that came up. So this was already, this is a very short one. I think this was just my face. So now we, we close this because it's done now. And I'm assuming here we can share the link to these different thingies here. Correct. But let me go. Yes, we can share it. This is a new screen that came up the other day and I was quite amazed. So now we go to our YouTube channel and there it is. We can go to, I normally go to my channel and there it is and we can edit it. This was a test the other day for me. And we edit it and we put the Zoom's name on yeah, there's the title, and we put the test, and we save it, and then we can share it. And that is how simple this thing is when you know how to do it. And it took me some time to learn, but I can now do it. And there we can edit it. From here, I'll go onto my cell phone. It's much easier to, to share for on the cell phone. But um, Sean, I think you need to add some details here. Can I sh stop the share? Yes. Okay, and then you're going to go on yours and show us how you do yours. There, see how yeah. that. You can show <laughs> how you do yours. And I think our computers are different. That's why mine is different to yours. But um, that's the way you showed me, and I adapted it onto mm. mine. So show your your way, and then we can see both ways. Okay. Yeah, you do yours slightly differently to the way that I do mine, but the end result is obviously the same. Um, I don't have my browser open yet, so I'm going to see if I can do it while I'm sharing my screen. Um, but, 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 um, I'm going to share screen and see where we can hide this goodie over here so that I can see what yeah. I'm doing. Um, I'll open up my Firefox and um, what I do is I go in and I open up my Google, I have different Google accounts. So I sign in um, and I'm going to use my Vital New You, which is my business account. Um, so first of all, I log in, and with Google, once you've logged in, you can do Gmail, images, and then you hit your little dots over there. Oops, I'm just going to move you out of the way so that I can see what I'm doing. And you've got all of those goodies over there. So those are all the accounts that are associated with Google. I go to YouTube. Um, Plug this thing in so I can speed up my connection a little bit. And takes a bit of time. Um, I go to my YouTube and I go to my videos, or your videos, as it says. And there you have your YouTube Creator Studio. Very little bit of a slow connection over there. Um, and there's my channel content. So now, over here to the top right hand side, you see create, exactly as Jenny said. So you click on the create and it says upload videos. And you same file, same screen again to select files. And mine is open to default wherever the Zoom is kept. Um, in this particular case, it's OneDrive. So when they, <coughs> sorry, when a recording is done, it automatically goes up to OneDrive. You can then go down. This is today's one, which we're not going to do just yet. So we'll do the last one that I did, which was the 10th of May. Exactly as you said, open it. When you click on the video, it's all done automatically that um, Google or YouTube have already got the programs and everything to work with Zoom. So when your Zoom meeting is saved, it's automatically saved in a format that you can upload 
to YouTube. So you've got three choices. You've got audio, you've got the recording configuration, and you've got video. You click on the video and you go to open. And it'll do its thing over here. And I normally edit straight off. So Jenny, you did things a little bit more backwards over there. When it highlights this video, um, we will just say, uh, we'll call this 10 May because that's what it was and I can always delete it afterwards. So there's your video link already being created for you. You don't have to worry about it. Um, the file name will change shortly. Well, there's a title, that's the file name. It's an MP4. An MP3 is a audio link. Um, and that's usually how any music or those sort of things are, are kept um, on your file or on your computer. They are saved as an MP3 file. Because this is a video, it is saved as an MP4 file. Don't stress about all the fancy terminology over there. You'll see it's already processing there in the background. Um, so you then go into next. And I've got it defaulted to set up all these goodies over here um, where it's already adding an end screen and add cards and all the rest. We don't have to worry about any of that because I don't worry about any of that. I then go to next and we'll check your video for issues that may restrict its visibility and then you will have the opportunity to fix issues before publishing your video. Um, and copyright is also checking over there if your video contains any copyright content. You then go on to next. And as Jenny said, save or publish. And you've got those three options. When I tried to save it originally, when I was first learning, I used to save it as private. And for some reason, other nobody else could get into it. So now I save it as public. And then once you hit publish, it starts doing its thing. Um, so it's already uploading in the background over there. And now it's processing. It tells me I've already processed 94%. And this is the standard definition version of your video, which needs to finish processing. It will always save it in a standard definition as opposed to a high definition. There are different formats over there because the different formats will tell you the amount of clarity. Um, if you have a if you've got a uh, one of those things, if you've got a standard DVD, for instance. That is saved in a standard definition. If you've got um, the, uh, the the blue video, the, the blue DVDs, uh, can't remember what it's called right now, but Ray, sorry, Blue Ray, Blue Ray. That's it. Thank you. Then you know that it's high definition. The only major difference over there is your high definition uses a lot more um, data to, to save. And if you've got a big fancy big screen TV, uh, it's a clearer picture. So to put it into context, um, if you've got a, say a full length feature movie of say two hours, a standard definition will save it in about two gigs, a high definition will save it in about four gigs. That would be the difference over there. So this video is busy processing over here and it's gone up to 95%. Um, it is taking a little bit of time right now, but mostly because I'm using um, bandwidth to do the zoom, as well as it trying to save the file in the background. Um, but once it's saved, uh, I can't get this out of the way, but I suppose I can move it out the way. Um, so this is, when I send out the links, you'll see it's still busy sorting itself out there in the background. This is my channel. So if you want to create your own channel, you can upload any video that you're doing. So if you are wanting to do a Zoom session of your own, for instance, um, if you have a Gmail account, you already have a YouTube channel. All you have to do is save your Zoom or your video or whatever it is that you're wanting to create 
into your YouTube channel and you can share that channel with whoever wants to use it. So they can then subscribe to the channel. Now, when you are in your YouTube, you can see over here all your statistics. Um, so I can tell you, for instance, uh, let's just play around a little bit over here, that my last Tuesday um, recording that I did, it's open to the public. There are no restrictions. It was published on May the 10th. It's had eight views so far. Um, it's had one like and zero comments. I have had a couple um, there on the Musky Skeletal. There were 12 views and had two likes. Um, this one there was 16 views. Uh, looking for one that's got a comment on it. Uh, we'll go down. So every recording that I've ever had is over here. And this particular one, there were two comments and we can check on it. And there we go. That was somebody who re left a reply to me and I haven't responded to it, um, but they said, thank you for this presentation, which is great. So anybody can comment on these things or not. So if you think I did a really, really lousy job at uh, presenting my session, you can make a comment and anybody can now see that. Um, so we've got, you can see exactly what your stats are over there, how many views, et cetera, how many likes on every single one that I've ever published. And you've got 30 rows per page and I've done 108 of these things so far, which is Quite a few actually, um, <laughs> more than what I realized. Um, so this one has now uploaded, it's done, it's fine. We can go back and edit it or uh, if we so inclined, if we feel so inclined. And so I can now tell people a little bit more information about this particular presentation. Um, I can choose the thumbnail so the thumbnail is that that you're going to be seeing over there, but I can change that thumbnail and it should change over there. Um, so when you click on it, you'll see a different thumbnail as opposed to what I had originally. Um, this video is set to not made for kids. You can set it to made for kids. That doesn't make a big difference in the greater scheme of things. Um, I've just left it that it's not made for kids because not that it's adult content, but it's obviously it's more technical stuff. So children that are watching this um, won't get to see it because there are various settings that one can do to protect your kids from watching things on YouTube that they shouldn't be watching. Um, and this is one of them. So if you have that setting and you don't want your kids to to watch um, content that's not made for kids, they won't have access to this video. If I said, yes, it is made for kids, this would be something that they could pick and choose and have a look at if they felt so inclined. Um, I'm not too clued up on the subtitles or the end screens or all, any of those things. Um, I'm not that clued up on a lot of these bits and pieces, but um, there are. How do you break it up? Um, you mean to edit it? So how do you put it in section? Yes. So what you what you can do? You mean like with the ADTs that we do just a presentation? Yes. All right. Yes. Then you go to your editor. So you've opened up your your video. And you go to your editor and this is something I am still learning how to do. Um, but basically this little goodie over here allows you to take out the first say 30 seconds over there. Um, and then I can take it down to, uh, let's say at the end. Um,
And this is where I always get confuzzled. So bear with me on this one. Um, I'm going to trim. Okay, so they are um, cutting out that bit. Uh, I always get confuzzled with this one, but essentially you can edit it over there. Um, I can do something with the audio and the video, I'm not quite sure which, but yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say save. Uh, and this is what takes time. I don't know why it takes time, but I can then save my changes and it will do its thing in the background. Uh, the video is being processed and that's it now. I can't do anything more with this video for the rest of the next hour or two because what it's doing, it's trimming out that section. How it does all of that, I don't know uh, because that's high grade. But I don't need to know how any of that works. Um, but that essentially is how you edit and trim. So you can cut out a section, you can blur, you can add in bits and pieces. Um, so you can edit your video, but it takes time and that's why um the, the couple of of edits that i have done took about two days to be able to send out the end result because it took so much time in the background and that is even on a fiber connection so whether it's me doing something wrong or whether it's just how the process works i don't know it might even very well be my computer that's a bit slow uh honestly don't know and I cannot tell you how that whole thing works. Okay. Um, so we'll get back out into YouTube. So when you look at your YouTube channel, you'll see home. So these are just some suggested videos that they say I should have a look at. Um, uh, you can explore. We don't like to see what Herbalife Nutrition has to say, but uh, you can search for various videos as well. Um, you can mark them for watching later. You can, so you can see over here that my subscriptions include things like the Neo Life Channel, um, Neo Life SA, Alan Blaine. So technically when these people have put up a new video, I will get a notification that they've put up a video. So if you subscribe to my channel, when I put up a new video, you should get an instant notification that I have got a uh, a, a new video up to watch and you can go along and have a look at it. Um, it'll just show me all my, all my subscriptions. So that's your sort of back office for want of any better terminology of the YouTube studio. Um, I'm gonna go out of there and I'm going to just turn that off, uh, get back over here and stop sharing. But I'll be back on the screen. Okay, so it is mostly automated. So when you are doing a Zoom meeting like this, that is being recorded, once we stop recording, Zoom automatically save that file because when you set up your Zoom, um, you, it asked you where, it want, where you wanted to save recordings to. <coughs> Sorry and it automatically saves it to that destination. On my system, it is saved on um, one, one place, or which is sort of like Dropbox or um, what's this other one, Drive. So Google Drive, you can save things over there as well. And I always like to try and save my things to anywhere except my computer. So, keeping all of your information on things like Drive or Dropbox or any of those, those sort of applications, I find is a lot safer because should your computer decide to crash on you or it gets stolen, all your information is kept <coughs> safe. 
Now, that can also be another training one day if you want to, as to where and how to keep information online. Because that's what makes me look as though I'm quite fast is because I don't keep anything on my computer or my phone. I keep it in the cloud and I can quickly and easily access it. Thank you, Sean. Does anybody have any questions about this? I know I may have gone through it quite fast. Go on, see. Um, I've got sure. two questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. Um, I want to know, do you back up your everything, your daily activities on your laptop? Uh, not as often as what I should do. But yes, I do from time to time. In fact, I, I've got an external hard drive that I usually do a backup on. Okay. But most and of the my other documents question... and things are saved on uh, Google Drive or um, Dropbox or any of those sort of things. Okay. Another question is, um, with the Dropbox and the Drive, is there a cost connected to that? No, absolutely free. No cost. Yeah, Dropbox, you can pay for them. So you can pay for extra storage. Dropbox, through various different reasons, I've got about two gigabytes of data that I've, that I've, um, that I've got available to save over there. And that my Dropbox is about 95% full at the moment. Uh, Google Drive comes with your Gmail account and you've got about 15 gig of data over there. Oh, wow. So for every Gmail account that I have, I have about 15 gig of space to save data. I also have an Evernote account as well. Um, why do you have three email um, accounts? I've got quite a few of them. It's just I've, um, from a personal uh, feeling or personal, uh, just my own personal opinion, I've got my sort of private personal Gmail account, and then I've started up my business account, and my business I call Vital New You. And I've just, for my own personal feeling, I like to subscribe to business things and keep all those business emails coming into, an, into a business account. Or if I'm communicating with customers or prospects to make it look more professional, I use my business Gmail. And that's just how it's evolved. It wasn't planned. It just evolved that way. And that is why I use my Vital New You account to save all of these trainings as well to keep it all as business. Okay. Thank you very much, Sean. Oh, okay. Uh, Sean? Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Um, I missed. The beginning of your talk, I was out. I, just, I got in about fifteen minutes later. Never mind. I'll, no I'll listen. You'll to see the recording. And <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to ask you. You talk about uh, Zoom. Um, yeah. When you you put the thing on Zoom, not everything that happens on Zoom is automatically going onto the internet, is it? How does no, that work? It's only the part that's being recorded. So when we start, oh. you know, when we first come on oh. and we and we're yapping in the background, I don't record. And okay, as soon but, as the, but my point. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, keep as, going. as soon as I hit record, that portion yeah. is saved. So if I stop recording right now, anything that we yeah. say from here onwards will not be in yeah. that recording that goes through. Okay. So basically, whatever is recorded on Zoom is automatically put out on the net. Correct. Well, once you, you save it on you YouTube. Can't, you can't. Okay, yeah, but you can't, so you can't uh, tape something or record something for you to keep. You and can not putting, if you, putting it out there. You can if you um, record it and keep it private. You know, every Zoom is re that we do, we record, but not yeah. everyone is uploaded to YouTube. Uh, oh, why? Uh, because there's point. some okay. that I feel I don't need to upload to YouTube. So you can record okay, a so session. Okay, so it can be possible. Yes. Yeah? You can record a session and just keep it. Yeah, yes. If you're doing a, a health talk, for instance, with, say, two or three prospects. The yeah. world doesn't need to know about it. But they might want to That's go back and re-listen to it. So you can send yeah. them that recording. Yeah. 
Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to know. It can right. be said. It's not. It's not Zoom who automatically posts everything at. No, 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 no. That is oh, by choice. Okay. We do it uh, by okay. choice because it's for everybody on the team. And I found okay. that being on YouTube is a convenient place to, yeah. to keep it. Okay. And then, so you post it on YouTube afterwards. Correct. You're the one who posted on YouTube. I'm the guy that posted YouTube. it up Oh, okay. That's yes. what I wanted to know. Because yeah. I'm thinking if I do if I do anything on YouTube, I wanted to know if it's automatically going no, no, on. No. on thing. Okay. No, no. Great. You so, can choose. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, right. Sean. No problem. We've got about four minutes left. Any other questions before I stop recording? I'm sorry, I've got another question Go too. So all the Osprey Zooms, do you put that on YouTube? Yes. For the public? Yes. But Okay. So in general, if somebody's searching for something like that, it might pop up in their feed. But mostly it's only us as a team that, that have a look at these things because it's not... Okay. Yeah. The public can, do have access to it, but it's not going to really feature on, on anything on anybody's feed unless I say something that goes viral. You've heard about these viral videos. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So in other words, if I'm an outsider mm -hmm. and I'm um, search um, um, Osprey yeah, like. team, mm -hmm. will, that, will that take me to this, to, it, to YouTube? It may or may not. Because we don't mention Osprey and there's no file that's saved as Osprey. Okay. Sean, okay. The, what is it called, Sean? If, if you have to tell your team or somebody, what is it called? To tell people to, to uh, call that up. You can look for Vital, Vital New You or I can send you the link. And then they, if they go to okay. that link, they'll, they'll pick it up. So oh, okay. all of these video recordings that I send out, when I send this link out, you can share that link with anybody. And when they click on okay. the link, they can go there and then they have the option of subscribing to that channel or not. Okay. All right. Thank you. And if you want to go and look for any of these videos that we've been recording, either Sean or I, you go to YouTube and you put on the top line there, whatever they call it, you either put Sean's name or my name and those yes. specific videos that we recorded, you will find on there. Hmm. Uh, Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Now, I was just wondering the another question, my last question. Um, what about the Poppy Act? How will that affect this recording or the people on this? Because I know in the beginning they were very yes. worried about that. Well, that's why you'll see on some of my earlier recordings when the Poppy Act first came out. I made a note of it that this is a public recording. If you don't want to be on here, take your video off. I probably okay. should do that more often. Um, and essentially, they are in the fine print of YouTube. If it's uploaded, you've given permission for, the, for that information to be made public. Okay. Thank you very much for an awesome evening. And also, when, when we push record, you've got to say, I've got it, that it's been recorded. And if you read the fine print, it it's, uh, is a disclaimer, I think is the word, that lets you know that you are being recorded and it's a public view. Hmm. You've only hmm. got about 10 seconds to read that uh, that fine print, but it yeah. is there. <laughs> Otherwise, you just got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So on and you keep your video off and nobody can see you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Nice to know. Take your name off. Yes. <laughs> then you like a spy. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm going to stop recording.